Thank you. Um, as Karen mentioned, I'm with the Worcester Rotary Club. Um, and uh, our project that we chose this year, well actually last summer, that we're still completing this year, is the Nick View Project. And uh, I will start off by saying uh, Roy Balfour approached our club uh, last summer and uh, delivered some projects for our club from the uh, neonatal intensive care unit over at UMass Memorial Children's Center. And we chose the Nick View Project. Uh, we thought it was a very important project. Um, what, what the project is, is uh, that uh, the neonatal intensive care unit was looking to put a camera over each of the beds in the, in the unit. And they had six cameras uh, up front when uh, Roy approached us and we wanted to fulfill the other 43 cameras. And one of the things that really impacted the community is that um, it allowed parents, grandparents, uh, spouses that were overseas fighting fighting the war uh, to be able to log in a, into a computer, log into a smartphone, and see their baby online. So they didn't have to always be at the at the hospital 24/7. They could take a break. They could call their, their their friends that are out in California, for example, and say, "Hey, we just had the baby. They're in the NIC unit. Please take a look online. Here's the password and ID. You can log in and see." Um, it. it was a great impact. I mean, pe people drew, drew to this uh, program like no other. I, I brought it to the bank I work at and asked if uh, the charitable committee would be willing to help us out by purchasing a camera, and they did. It went off like wildfire. I'll get into that later on. Uh, but uh, part of the program is that the grant money was so important to us uh, to help us fulfill and facilitate the, the completion of, the, of this project that uh, we drew together as a club closer because we all embraced this project and we were looking for a way to uh, expand on uh, raising money for this project from our own club, from other clubs, and from uh, local businesses. And because we did all that, we were able to to fulfill the requirements to get the, uh, the district grant. Last year we got a grant of $1,000. This year we're getting $1,500 grant from the district uh, for our efforts. Um, we engaged seven other clubs and three clubs, as Roy pointed out, uh, that, are, that are willing to step up to the plate. Uh, and along with some fundraising efforts, uh, we needed to accelerate the project toward completion. One of the tools available to us was the, the feed on the camera itself. So when an individual logs in to see their infant or uh, grandson or granddaughter online, they see at the very bottom of the screen, it says, provided by XYZ Company, provided by Worcester Rotary. And with that, we were able to look at this and say, gee, this is, this is simple. It's $1,200 for a camera. Now, businesses will spend that to go to a golf tournament for one day and, and be a sponsor, okay? So I saw this and said, gee, we can, we can sell this like sponsors for a golf tournament only it's for the NIC unit. And they'll be able to see that tagline on there when, when people log in. They'll see that, that their business has donated this money. And it went off like wildfire. The, my bank sponsored one. Um, United Lens then sponsored one. The president of the, of the Rotary Club in Southbridge uh, saw that and he said, I'll match what the bank did. Um, we also had other, other businesses uh, line up, uh, Webster Five Bank along with Southbridge Savings Bank, um, Guru Tax and Financial Services, uh, all these businesses lined up to, to uh, sign up for the program and they donated $1,200 each uh, for the cameras. Uh, we also got uh, a late donation from Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare as well to help us out with the program. Um, and with the help from, from Roy and Ralph and, uh, and Jane Mitchell, the application process went very smooth. Uh, they told us we had to open up a separate account uh, for these funds to, to be deposited into and tracked. Everything had a, we had to take photos of everyone presenting checks and keep copies of all the checks and all the detail and everything and keep it separate from our, our regular service fund, which we did. And it was simple enough to do. Uh, and, and just grab that information and hang on to it, photocopy everything and send it in. Um, but we couldn't do it alone. We had to engage other clubs. We had to engage the community. 
and we had to get a buy-in from our own club to make this happen and make it possible. And uh, Roy really gave us a big boost helping us launch this and get it out there. And uh, Dr. Piccarello, to his credit too, he was able to go around to other clubs to promote this program and help us to get it rolling. I, I believe there's, what Roy, uh, maybe six, uh, uh, nine cameras left? Nine cameras, nine cameras left to purchase to complete this project. Um, it's a fun project to work on. It's, it makes you feel really good to work on a project like this, helping children and families uh, in a local area, a local hospital uh, in Central Mass. Uh, and keep in mind when it comes to these, these Rotary grants, the district grants, Rotary wants your project to be successful. They want you to be successful and they want to help you with that project. Um, without the support of, of uh, other clubs and in the community and local businesses, a project would not be a success. That's the power of Rotary.